Radio. Okay, what does the radio do? <gasps> okay, you saw that body of a dude upside down bleeding out? Yeah. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Symmetry. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. I figured we'd do a follow-up video on this because with the first video, we kind of like barely scratched the surface of the game. And as I mentioned in that video, I think the selling point of the game is kind of like the story and whatever madness went down over here. And we barely started to see a little bit of that with a couple of the few apparitions that showed up. But we really haven't gotten to the meat of the things that I've seen that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to do at least one more video on this. And if you guys do enjoy it, I'll continue going further beyond this point. Now, I want to talk about some of the things that you mentioned in the comments, which I do agree with. For the most part, let's let's not speed it up. Let me put this in real time because I want to talk a little bit about this here. You guys are moving, right? So you're going to come over here to get some food because you are slightly hungry. Once you're done healing, I'm going to send you back out to get me some wood because right now we got wood for... Well, we got wood at least some um, worn for a day. And you're going to go and heal and then I'll send you back out for some more waste management. Speaking of waste, we have 64. Um, we want to get up to 90 for the battery to be fixed to send a signal and then we also need to collect once again 50 and 70 to fix the the engines for the rocket so we can get out of here now i'm gonna put this in real time so i can talk a little bit here so in the comments most of you guys mentioned that the game oh no random event something break again uh, a few of the complaints I read is something I actually do agree with a lot of you guys mentioned that the gameplay is rather simplistic and i do agree with that there is not there is no level of depth in this game as there is in something like a Sheltered or a This War of Mine. But the problem is I don't think it's aiming to be like that. It's not aiming to be like a very long game. The premise here, according to what I read from some of the publishers um, talking in the Steam forums, is to basically fix this and get out of here because it is a survival game and you're trying to just get out of here. And the story that's happening around is kind of like a little bit of a side thing for you to kind of keep you entertained with. But I guess it's not really the main premise. It's mostly just a survival thing. But the gameplay is rather simplistic. It is a matter... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but that was kind of weird. The moment you're done with this food, I want you to fill this up. Oh, jeez, what happened now? Another breakdown of some kind? What broke down this time? Mm. I'm not seeing anything broken down just yet, but it'll probably happen pretty soon. The agency wasn't sure what exactly happened here. Maybe the planet wanted to get rid of us releasing a compound, which started a chain reaction. Maybe a virus in the software controlling the atom or actions of a madman. If not for a handful of people who managed to escape, humanity would have been... History. Oh, history is um, outside of the little um, <laughs> block of texting. That's kind of weird. Uh, Lieutenant Mark Gorecki, I'm back. I need to speak to the commander. I've got crucial information to hand over, but first, give me a minute, I've got to rest. Oh, this is my Ford character. So, he's the one that I believe is going to be useful for this battery reactor area. I still don't know exactly what the premise of the battery is. It provides power while the power plants... Oh! So once you start failing with the plower, the, the plower, he says, the power, if we do have some battery here, juiced up, we could keep running, even with this being broken down, it does seem. Because that produces power meanwhile. Okay, so Mark should be showing up somewhere all the way over here. That's Mark. Really happy fella, too. Look at that smiley. Oh, he's not smiling anymore. But he was initially. Um, so he's going to come back. And you'll be the power guy. Meanwhile, that tree's still showing up over there. I really hope the girls are fine. This might have been a really terrible mistake on my part. Uh, she got the items that she needed, so she's coming back. And you are... I think it's fine at 60... Oh... As long as it doesn't go up to the 70s or something, we should be fine. You guys get your HP back. You're gonna be fine, right, Cade? Oh, no. Cade, please hurry inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she made it inside. Oh, thank goodness, God. She was almost basically dead. Alrighty. Here's what we're gonna do. I need to keep you guys inside. There's no button to keep them inside the base when the weather's like this, so I would suggest you have them train or just queue them up somewhere. So you're good to go now. Let me have you just train in... I need a backup skill for you. I guess we'll have you do... Food production. You continue healing. You're still fine. You're not gonna die inside, right? And go get your HP back. How are you doing? Not amazing, but you'll be okay. Oh, thank God. That was so close for Cade, man. Like, that was dangerously close. You're not going back out. Get your HP back as well. Temperature is... acceptable. 
It's gonna keep going down, it does seem to. So, oh, you had some more wood in your backpack. Thank you. That's helpful for now. So now that the temperature's fine, you get a bit of food, and I'm gonna send you back out. And you are fine. Food is completely stocked up. Electro waste. Off you girls go. Alright, yeah, you got your meal. Go electro waste gather for me. Thank you. Alright, so we're at 47 of 100. Once we hit 90, we could fix the signal. Oh, is that a break? Probably looking to break. Oh, you broke this. Well, we don't really have to fix it now that we have the battery back up, but, you know, might as well keep it up and running. Dangerously low temperature in the shelter. It won't be like that soon once we get the, the woods then back in here. Alright. Now, we're in day number 10, so I imagine we're about to start seeing some really crazier stuff happen here. I'm trying to make sure we don't miss it, because some there's uh, an event over here that I've seen before that's really, really crazy. Oh, God. You broke both of my... my, my s what did you break? You broke one of my, my healing things, which is annoying. This is the annoying part of the game, where you're trying to get up to enough to fix the, the signal battery thing and the engines, but then your stuff inside keeps breaking, so your collection of um, scrap isn't enough to keep up with everything that's breaking down. So we might even need a third person collecting waste meanwhile. And I think we might do that. So dump that in there. Let's also put three in here. And who's the other person? Are you good at waste collection? No. You aren't either. Man, we need a third person at that. Once you dump this off, I'm gonna have you start training in electro waste gathering, I think. So go train at that. So we got three people working on that in one go. Okay, ladies, are you fine for another trip? I wouldn't risk it. I'm gonna have you go and get your HP back. And I wouldn't risk that either. Get your HP back. Something's going on here. It was not an organic part of this planet. Relax. Let's not panic. If I if it wanted to kill us, it would have done it, done it instantly. We're an easy target. It doesn't know we're here or is waiting for a better moment. In a couple of days, we're going to beg it to finish us off. To end this torture? What? What do you... Um... Okay. I tend to miss the obvious sometimes. Was this giant mon monolith here before? Look, I'm very busy trying to explain stuff, trying to do commentary and making sure these people don't die on me. Was that giant monolith there before? Because I have a feeling like it was not, and that worries me significantly. What's... Oh my god, your HP is very low. Um... Hey. <gasps> oh no. Oh no no no! Don't don't die on me! Don't don't! It's warm enough. Hey. Um. Oh God. Oh Jesus! No HP. Oh, you made it just in time. Um. One of you ladies needs to exit the premise. Go get some food. Hey, you. Forget about the wood momentarily. Just jump in there. Jump in there. Oh, thank God. Oh boy. You see what I'm saying about the further you go out to collect stuff, the harder it is when you get back. Like you got a pin, but you got a min max here. You got to pinpoint the amount of HP you're gonna lose because otherwise it could be really problematic. Negative 47. That's not really ideal temperature to go out. But I need that electro waste. Uh, you're at least full HP and just about good in hunger. Go collect some right now. I'll keep an eye on you. Um, you are trying to train on that, so keep training on that here for a bit longer. Where's that girl at? Oh, she ran off after I gave her food. Is that a good idea? Negative 40. Oh, something else just broke again. Alright. It's about to go down, apparently, soonish. So there is that. Something broke, though, which happened to be... Was it... Oh, this heater. Okay. You're gonna be fine, right, ladies? I think you'll be fine. It's not, like, super cold, negative 49. I mean, technically it is, but not, like, killer weather. Negative 50. Now it's going up, which worries me a bit. You're supposed to be going down. It said negative 38, dog. Negative 4. Right, here we go. Now it's coming back down, I guess, once the day comes about. Um, you're pretty much healed up. Get your food in now. You should also get some food, I think, because you're... Um... Dying. Hey, can you... Look. Let, 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 let your, let your friend get some food if you don't mind, okay? Go, go over there. Okay, he's about to die. Now you could finish your meal afterwards. He, he was about to croak dead from hunger, though. <laughs> can you imagine that being in line? Hey, I'm um, John, I'm dying back here. I literally just need one piece of food. No, no, you gotta wait till I'm done with my meal before you can eat. It's like, dude, I'm, I'm literally gonna die in a second if I don't get some food. Like, this isn't like, you know, figurative speak. This is literally, I'm about to die. I'm sorry. Can't help you. Gotta finish my meal. Speaking of which, we're out of food completely now. Okay. 
so you're fine. Good, 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 good. Um, we are low on the old wood, so you're fine now. Go off over there, and you get your HP back. Oh boy, energy power five hours left. Okay, temperature for tomorrow negative thirty-seven. Still rather cold, but hey, what can you do? I think you'll make it back in time. So will you. Alright. So this is fine. You're okay. How much scrap do we have? 47. Dude, I need to get that 90 so soon. Oh, stop breaking down. Whew, barely made it in time with you. So fill that up. Thank you. Go get your HP back. And this is like later in the game, this is what happens. You start doing this a lot. You collect what you need to. When they're back, heal them up, send them back out. And that's kind of like where I feel like the game becomes a little bit more redundant and repetitive then. So, I don't know. I like the game, but it does feel like it has quite a few like minimalistic flaws. Not really minimalistic, but like just gameplay flaws after a while. We're at 67. You again need to get your HP back too. And once you're done, I need to get you to food production. Hey, homeboy, I need you to finish up this um, training so I can send you to get some waste as well. So please hurry it up. Okay. Now, in terms of temperature, we have enough for roughly 21 hours. Um, I cannot send you back out in good consciousness, so let me queue you up for a heal as well. And... Uh, that's fine. Okay. It's nighttime anyway, so it's probably best for me not to send them out. I could, but wouldn't be the wisest idea. You produce some food momentarily. How's this coming along? You're just about, you know what, that's going to have to do for you. Negative 50 in temperature. How far is the scrap pile now? I feel like we've, oh, we've gone beyond this point. Oh, so we're traveling all the way over here now for scrap. And there's a tunnel over here? I was under the impression that if you cleared everything over here, you could probably go into the tunnel. Maybe you can? I, I remember seeing, like, radio broadcasts coming in that we saw earlier talking about the tunnels being, like, really hard to maneuver. I always thought that you could get in there, but if the publishers mention that the premise is to fix the rock and get out of here, it makes me think that maybe you aren't meant to go in there, which, again, is kind of like a bit of a flaw, because I'd like to just see more than Moose area alone, but I don't know. Um, so you're going to produce some food. You want to go back out in this temperature that really far? No, I would not advise for that. So you know what? Just, um, go train at, um, maybe food production as well. And you're completely maxed out. You want to go out and collect stuff? I would say that's a bad idea. So instead, just, uh... I don't know, get some... Finish your meal that you were trying to have earlier. How's our wood? 15 hours? You want to go back out? Nope. Cue yourself up some wood, to, or some food as well. Alright, Kate, you gotta speed it up here. We're at negative 54. We're in fast speed. He wants to go back out. He's had his meal now. No, 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 that's that's no good. Look, go train and, I don't know, just cue you up inside. 55. You want to finish up your meal, which is fine. Afterwards, you have to collect some wood for us pretty soon, too. Negative 55 here. This again broke. Yet again, six more Electro Waste parts that we have to throw in there. I mean, I don't have to, I do have the battery. And speaking of which... Um, you know what, since you're not too far, it's not gonna kill you. Go power up my battery instead. So I don't have to worry about pumping waste into that to fix it every single moment. We must leave. The exit out of this orbit is within our reach. The planet's position will be favorable within the next 24 days. If you run out of spare parts, I know where to find them. I suggest an immediate return to the base. We should not be snooping around here. Now, Mark, you say that. But, um, I don't think there really is a, an, another ideal spot for spare parts. Because I always have to travel to the depths of the hell. Frozen hell, really, to pick up those wastes over there. If there was like, a place here nearby, it'd be great. But you're not really revealing it to me. Um, get some food, too. You have to go out and get some wood now. So that's what you're gonna do. Great. And you fuel this up. And... It's not deadly cold. So I'm going to say, you do that, and, oh man. I would like to send them out to get some waste, but I don't really trust the HP now. All right, that's going to be your Mio. Hey, you, Electro Waste now. Go out there. Get your HP, and then you have to also get some food. So the next thing that you produce, um, and just continue producing food, I'll feed you, and then you go get some Electro Waste as well. 
Now, I wonder, can I try to fix this meanwhile? Like, since I have 61 parts, I can put in, like, 60 parts in here. It's gotta be the entire shebang, it seems, huh? Dangerously low temperature in the shell. That's fine. We're about to get some wood in here, so that's okay. Okay, you're, you're fixed up. Everything good to go? Go and get electro waste now. And I need you to fill up this food container. Which, you know, us humans normally call fridge. Uh, you can't do that. Get your HP back. I don't recognize myself. I'm weak. The captain should have behaved differently. Nobody assumed we could have company, yet something is here, and it just stopped hiding. The planet was scanned. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe we're all going crazy? I'm afraid. Fear paralyzes thinking. I can't stop it. Those aren't your dying words, are there? No, you're still okay. Okay. Now let's see here. 38. Alright. I don't want to put in more electro waste anywhere else. So you get some food. And I'm sending you back for electro waste gathering. It's nighttime now. Oh man, maybe we shouldn't send her out at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to send her out at this point. It's going to get really, really cold. So just um, continue producing food, which is what you're trying to do. Um, let's see. Where is... Oh, you're over here healing, huh? Seven hours. Oh, boy. You need to get there and back fast, dude, because I need the warmth. But um, cold worries me. How are you doing? You need to start hurrying back as well. I should probably call back Wood Homeboy, huh? Negative 51. No, I think he's fine. He's got enough HP. His travel isn't as far as the Electro Waste. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, no! <gasps> no, you weren't supposed to go back out! Please make it! Oh, that was close. You saw, I miss her, and she was basically gonna go out to die just now. I'm not sure you guys noticed, too, there's a kill option, too. Why is there a kill option for the people? I got no idea, but it's there. Alright, wood bro made it back too, which is gonna keep us warm, thankfully, because it is now freezing. It is daytime now, which that's good. Um, no, you're not going anywhere either. Get your HP back. Okay, now... I think you won't die. So, go Electroways gather for us. Where's wood bro? Wood bro's here. No, wood bro, you need some HP before you leave. In your HP bag, in his HP bag, just wait. 80. Um, guys, I'm gonna probably go a little bit longer right now because I think we're very close to fixing that signal and I'm really curious to see what happens. Assuming nothing breaks down right now, I think that Cade making it here and back, assuming she makes it here and back, will get us enough to fix that signal. And um, I've never gotten to that point. So uh, I'm fairly shocked. And you go get that in case we don't get 10 with her. That should be enough with you. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna run a bit longer here because this is gonna fill up right now. Oh no, no, no! What broke? Um, the fridge broke. How much? Eight? Dude, I'm sorry to say we're gonna have to, like, starve you guys for a bit. I, I really want to get that freaking signal fixed finally. Kate, hurry back up. Okay, what's your deal? Electro waste? Yes. Go get that too. And you? Hunger, but go get me some wood. Okay. Oh, good. We had two things broken. Well, luckily here we have the battery power to keep it running, so we don't have to fix that immediately just yet. All right, ladies, please hurry up. The weather's fine. It's negative 38. It's still very ideal. Please give me the 90. Oh, we got 90. Okay. So you get your HP back immediately. And we have 90. Let me read this really quickly. I have to piece it all together. Kate, come on. Work that brain of yours. Not in vain. Everyone thinks you're a genius. You know the killer is in the middle of a detective story. You'll come up with something here too. Because you can be sure nobody's going to tell you what's going on. Alright, whatever. Uh, get your HP back, Kate, you maniac. And here we go. Alrighty, so. I've never gotten to this point. We're fixing it. It's going to take a while to fix. How long? Eh, it's not taking too long. Um, Woodbro is over here. So you are going to be fine. With the next bit of waste that we get, we have to fix that fridge so we could eat. Because I'm not sure if they could eat if that's broken down. I mean, you'd imagine if food's still in there, just reach in there and get some food. But apparently it doesn't work that way. Dangerous low temperature in the shelter. Um, that could be very critical for somebody that's coming back from a long journey. As in, you. Because your HP is going to continue to drop. Oh, but the woodman's back. Oh, thank God. 
Yes, I'm calling him the Woodman now. Alrighty, okay, stop, stop, please stop breaking my things. Okay, thank you. Get your HP back. Woodman, you're not going back out. Turn it around, turn it around. Um, get some, I mean, we do need wood, but get some food first. And we have 10 scrap. We fix this now. Okay. Um, Signal, are you up and running? Oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. J um, whatever your name is, Mark, you're coming back too? Okay. Once you're back, I gotta get you some HP back too. Alrighty, so I'm not sure what the signal does, but I guess we'll find out right now. Um, mm, how's the weather? 54? I don't want you going out. So just produce food momentarily. We're not going to have too much temperature soon. That's my only problem here. Get your HP back. You're not going back out, you dingus. Get back inside. Okay. What did this do? Radio. Okay, what does the radio do? <gasps> okay, you saw that body of a dude upside down bleeding out? Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if doing, I'm fixing the radio caused that, but there's no other. <laughs> I can't interact with the radio, so I have no idea what it accomplished. Okay, next thing in the agenda is going to be the engines, I guess. Okay, well, we've gone far enough for this video. I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I might come back and just try to get the other things completed and see if we can make it through. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying it long enough to see that. If you're not enjoying it, then, you know, just let me know, and this will be it right here. But if you guys want to see a bit more, I'll try to at least get this fixed up and see what happens. I'm not sure if I can even get to that point, but um, we're fairly close. We're kind of really, um, you know, itching on the side of danger and debt, but um, we'll see. I will catch you next time.